Painting is my way of navigating my life on this earth. It's the way that I discover or remember who I really am. Painting becomes this challenge to capture something that is fleeting. And I suppose if you're going to attempt to do something and to do it well, you have to hold yourself to very high standards and in, in a sense create a situation that is maybe beyond your expectations or a little bit bigger than who you think you are. So I set before myself subjects that are beautifully metaphorical for the things that I want to paint about, but they also have that quality about them that creates a sense of urgency, that you have to work really hard to capture that moment, that fleeting moment where something is there and then not there. I carefully design each painting so that it's multi-layered in its meaning, and I also want to create a painting that's creating a particular kind of experience for the viewer. And I trust that when a collector is attracted to my work, it's almost magnetic in a way, that there's a certain kind of energetic quality that's in the work that resonates like we're, like we're tuning forks, tuning into each other in some sort of way. Something that is made by another hand has a certain kind of imprint in it. I think it's a kind of energetic imprint. But it also captures our imagination in a way. There's a kind of magic that happens. It's like a magic trick, really, because you're taking what you're experiencing out there in three dimensions, or even in your imagination, and you're translating it through that two-dimensional form and, and creating this fantastic illusion which, if done correctly, becomes a world into which someone else can enter. It's for the same reason that we love a great novel, is that it takes us to another place that doesn't really exist anywhere else.